Laser. Um, there was a lot of attention given on Balikan Time. Perhaps because people are curious to know what, uh, how do you envision our role in the Indo-Pacific, sir, given the geopolitical tensions of Taiwan? First, it's uh, simple lang ang role natin sa Pilipinas. We, we work for peace. We work for peace. We will not encourage any provocative action by any country that involves that will involve the Philippines, any provocative action to involve the Philippines by any other country, we will not allow, allow that to happen. We will not use, we will not allow the Philippines to be used as a uh, uh, staging post for uh, any kind of military action. All we are worried about is the peace and the safety of our people, both here and abroad, and that's the main uh, that's the main consideration. So, in my view, that's the role. But of course, in maintaining that peace, there is a role to be played. But I think that for the Philippines, the best role that we can play when it comes to um, is keep, uh, keeping the peace and keeping the lowering the tensions in the, in our area, in the Indo-Pacific, Asia-Pacific region, is keep for me still ASEAN. And I think the best. The best move for us is to stay within us and keep ASEAN solid, strong, and united. Uh, so that, if that's the case, if we are at least, at least we have a consensus uh, and areas of agreement, then it will remain strong, and that will be the, that ASEAN will still be the one to conduct and to lead uh, the political fortunes of all the other countries around Asia. I did. I have already. What can uh, you talk about, sir? I asked them, uh, you know, that this is the kind of thing that we want, that they're hoping to avoid. Uh, that uh, this time it was uh, a little more dangerous because um, malapit na sila, talagang kamuntik na napangaan. And that will uh, cause a great many, uh, that, that will get, can cause casualties on both sides. That's exactly what we want to avoid. Kaya piliit ko sa kanila, yung aking sinasabi na merong high level na, na communication, tapusin na natin, buuhin na natin. Hindi pa namin natin, hindi pa natin nabuo. We're waiting for uh, China to give us the details of uh, who will be uh, the team at their end. Yung, yung sa Pilipinas, we already have the team. We have already submitted the name, given the telephone numbers of these people. Uh, so, inaantay na lang natin yung counterpart ng team natin from China. So, sino po yung nakausap nyo at ano po yung nakuha rin yung response? Sa, sa, well, they, 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 they agree, they're working on it. Uh, so, but you know, we, I said until, until we have that, uh, we will continue to be doing this. So, binalik, binalik po yung usapan sa fishing grounds. Sabi ko, pwede ba pag-usapan na natin yung fishing grounds? Dahil ito naman talaga ang first priority natin for now. I mean, of course, the overall priority is to, to, uh, to safeguard our ter maritime territory. But the, uh, when you go down into the detail, the most immediate, let's say, a concern is, uh, is other, fishing, other fishing rights. So that's what we have to do. Uh, that's what we have to do. Decide. And they have agreed again, sit down. Uh, I've asked uh, the Coast Guard and the DFA to put together perhaps uh, a map of uh, these fishing grounds that we'll see what they say when, when uh, we give them our proposal. Our okay, John, are you Sir, good evening. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, what are your top priority outcomes from this people? Oh, Sarami Time was Mr. Lewin. They want to. Uh, uh, engages uh, first set, firstly on the economic level um, in terms of uh, again our our priority sectors agriculture power infrastructure uh, all of these uh, uh, new technologies that we, are, we have been discussing uh, there's even the proposal for you know, the battery technologies to come to the Philippines all of these things are economic, that's on the economic level um, on the financial level I guess what the I, I'm sorry on the political level. Uh, it will still be centered around the relationship between the Philippines and the, and the United States. As we all know, uh, I always talk about evolving that relationship. Uh, and that just means, it's, it's, well, what is their view of the situation uh, in the Indo-Pacific region? Uh, how do they feel uh, it will develop? And what part do they, the United States, intend to play? Uh, and again, put our position forward uh, to say that we have a lot of interest if we don't peaceful in the region. Uh, if peace is not a problem for the Philippines, uh, that's what we have done. We have an interest in uh, uh, the territory of the territory. Uh, so we don't have a position of the so Philippines. And so we'll just, I suppose, put our, put our positions, um, make our positions clear to everybody uh, for both sides. So uh, we know how to proceed. Uh, because then we, again, we'll talk about the technical aspects of that. There are a lot of economic side. Uh, 
we will have to go into detail or meeting with many of the uh, big companies who, were, who we were not able to see in the other trips in the New York and the United States. But now we are going to meet them again to uh, show them what the situation is in the Philippines uh, and hopefully for them to bring investment. Lahat po ng newsflash video ay makikita sa aking newsflash playlist. Sa mga gusto naman po ng mga biblical topics, punta po kayo sa aking channel na Mahafri TV. Para sa mga gustong mag-order ng Firmax Firmang and Lifting Cream and Immune System Booster, contact Mr. Dante Mariviles on Facebook. Cell phone number 09086553757.